Our operations module looks to automate your service delivery process to your customers. We also look to maximize your asset investments that you're making in running these critical assets for the business. In this segment, I'm going to explore the operational efficiencies that we drive with our service model. We're going to take a look at the financial impact and making sure that we reduce downtime in the facility and maximize our resources in the organization. And lastly, we'll explore some of the environmental activities that operations drives to the business. So let's take a look at Tririg Operations in Action, and I'll share with you some of the key features that we offer to help drive these efficiencies in your business. The first view I'll take you into is a view of one of your customers. Tririga delivers what we refer to as Request Central. Request Central is a web portal to allow your end users, your customers, to come onto the web page and request services they need at their desk. As an enterprise request capability, we allow them to request those services as well as to be able to locate key resources and workplace information. For example, this locate space. Let me explode this here for you and showcase our locating capabilities. As an employee of the company, I may want to look for something. I may want to look for an employee that I'm meeting with or a room I'm going to, a conference room. I may be looking for a piece of equipment. Where are the copiers on the floor? Or where's a particular building? I'm flying into town. I've never been to that site. With the locating capabilities, the system is interactive to allow me to search for the employee I'm meeting with. We'll look for uh, the executive and hit the locate action. And what the system's going to do is interact to the floor plans and show me exactly where that employee is assigned in the organization so I can now go meet with that individual. We provide employee directories on the floor as well as another view, which is the key rooms when I get to that site. When I get to a floor meeting with this executive, I also may want to know where the other meeting rooms are and where the restrooms are. So having that information at my fingertips makes me more productive to get to that location quickly and understand what my services are when I'm at that site. Now putting a request in for service is as easy in the module. Within the system, the request central lets me organize the services that we allow our customers to render and request. From here, I can get into product services that I may need. I need, need a new laptop, a new computer. I may want to make a reservation for something with our reservation capabilities within Tririga. Or maybe go in and do a space request like a move ads or change request uh, for moving my staff. Let's take a look at a typical request being a facilities request. This employee is sitting in their office and maybe they noticed there was lights out in the, in the workstation or somewhere on the floor when they were at the site. With this request capability, with the integrated model, we have a system that allows the customer with a few clicks, lights out. Um, they can put in that request, identify what the need is, and then process or submit that request. Before I close this, though, I will also show the integrated workplace story with the ability to interact to the floor plans from the space department. If this particular light request for the end users coming in, but the person wasn't at their workstation, they were over here in this conference room in the corner, they can identify where the light request is that they need processing and go ahead and submit that request onto the organization. So what the system's doing now for me is interacting and processing that request for this particular user, the lights out. It's going to source it to the right department that needs to handle that request. Now in the power of Tririga, we're going to track duplicate requests. We're going to process it to the landlord if it's a lease facility and the landlord's responsible. And we're going to fulfill this request all the way through the end. In our system, each request can have approval processes if needed. And we also have the ability at the end to generate surveys back to the user at the end of the process so we have continuous improvement of our service delivery by indicating from the customer how well the service was performed. Now let me change views now to the person or the group that's responsible for maintaining the buildings themselves, the operational teams. This particular view I'm taking you into represents that of a building manager or a service manager. The service manager's view is keeping track of all the vendors and in-house shop folks that they, they work with to perform these services in the building. In the Tririga system, we have active reminder capabilities here in the model. The end user will get alerts from the Tririga system based on content that's specific to their role. So in this case, Paul or this supervisor sees they have some unassigned work tasks. They have some tasks that are overdue. Down in the planning area, they can get in overdue drafts. They can get into what requests are coming in, my active requests. So all that data here is available at his fingertips. 
The results of the surveys is a chart right here in the graph. So we have a view in our metrics around customer sat and on-time service responsiveness is some of the key graphs and charts that we're managing here in the application. Tririga offers a layer of personalization for each of these users. So if he's really zooming in on customer responsiveness or vendor responsiveness and customer sat, with a couple clicks here, he's able to, and maybe his budget's of interest to him, so he can move the budget up. And a couple clicks here, this particular supervisor can zoom in on the data that's relevant to his role at the time he's working with the system. In this case, we have a budget and actual view looking at his overall budget by fiscal period, making sure he stays on budget operationally. This particular chart's looking at the supply and demand of his resources on staff and the ability to see how many people he has available in his group versus the work orders that are coming into his department on each and every day, making sure that his crews are at their optimal utilization. And you can see right now we have a bunch of guys on bench time not doing anything. Within our system here, with the bookmarking capabilities of Tririga, he has access to all his critical equipment assets. So as an operational manager, he gets all his assets in a nice, easy view to access his data. We provide searches like Google. So in our system, finding your assets can search by any of the data elements about the assets. I may want to look at everything just on the rooftops. So I'll go ahead and hit roof. And the system shows me all the units on the roof of Executive Parkway and the ability to dive into that asset and see the critical information about the asset itself. In this case, we're looking at a climate change or air handling unit with the serial number and information about that asset. With a couple clicks, I can go over with my tab and see the contracts I have on that asset. In this case, it's under warranty. Uh, the original purchase order, how this asset came into the organization. We get into assessment data with our condition assessment module and the ability to track the life cycle of your critical assets to make sure that we can manage them through their full life cycle and then look at a replacement value of those assets through the different systems as I'm doing my, my uh, life cycle management. And on the maintenance tab here, we have full accountability of the asset with a full preventive maintenance schedule on the equipment, track the safety plans, the readings at the equipment. We can track all the tasks associated to the equipment through its life of this asset. So with this application, we give this planner, this maintenance supervisor, all the critical data around their facility and running this operation. One last view I'll show you in here is that of a resource planner those that are managing those critical resources. In this particular view, as I minimize or go down on the bottom here, what we provide them is an interactive planning tool to assign the work out to the staff. The gray bars here represent the days of the week and the length of the bar, how many hours in shop. And the ability for him to move these tasks around by day, be able to take different tasks and assign it down to individual staff, in a very interactive planning capability. So we'll take these orders and give them down to Ben and place those work orders down to that individual end user and move the work around the business. So in a quick uh, view of the operations module, I hope you enjoyed seeing how the Tririg operations system can empower your service delivery uh, capabilities to your customers and ensure that we have an optimal running building in the efficiency and minimize building disruption. Thank you.